Physics and chemistry literally made me cry in high school. I was really overwhelmed by both of the subjects and I think I was kind of frustrated that they didn't come easily to me. But I had fantastic teachers and I got through them and worked really hard. But I still get kind of stressed out when I think about physics and chemistry. And so when I heard about Andy Weir's novel The Martian and that one of the key components of it is that it's very physically and chemically intense, I wasn't really in a hurry to read it. But I did and I am so, so, so glad I did. Although ironically, it also made me cry but in a different way and I'll talk more about that later. In this review I'm going to keep things relatively spoiler free and that is to say that I'm not going to talk about anything that you couldn't figure out from the trailer that is widely circulated about the movie inspired by this book. The Martian is a science fiction novel by Andy Weir and I love that the story of how it got published is just as DIY as some of its main character survival methods. Andy self-published the book to his website in 2011 and then due to popular demand made it available for download on Kindle for just 99 cents. In 2013 though he got both audiobook and publishing deals and this book has been all over the place ever since. And it's not hard to see why. Andy Weir put a really new interesting spin on a classic survival story and created a main character who is entirely captivating. I would kill to have Mark Watney's sense of humor and brain. However, my favorite thing about him also happens to be the one flaw that I found with this book. In the days that I was reading The Martian, I found myself constantly thinking about Mark Watney's attitude. Anytime he has a minor setback or major setback, whether it's almost dying or just getting tired of eating raw potatoes, he bounces back immediately. There's no days or even hours of moping or feeling sorry for himself. The most negative you ever see this character get is when he takes maybe a sentence or two to make a snarky, expletive-filled remark about the situation. But then he just moves on. I found Mark Watney to be totally inspiring. He just takes these massive, seemingly insurmountable problems and breaks them down into very small, tangible, reasonable steps. And I just kept thinking that if I could have even a little bit of that skill, that ability to move on from bummers really quickly, I would be an in infinitely more successful human being. But is that realistic? I'm not convinced. Mark Watney is certainly aware of how serious the situation is. He constantly talks about how he might die and is always thinking about ways to keep himself from dying. But I just never really felt like I got an authentic emotional response to that situation. Maybe that's what it would take to survive on Mars, just the absolute focus on staying alive and not really letting yourself consider emotionally what the consequences are. If anything, this book has taught me with 100% certainty that I would never survive on Mars, not even a day, not even an hour. So I guess I'm not really qualified to talk about what emotional responses should and shouldn't be and what's authentic, but I just couldn't help but think that a person so far away from everything they know and love, nonetheless everything that they know keeps them safe, wouldn't have just one breakdown in the whole time that he was on this crazy, insane, un survivable journey. <laughs> That's not to say that this book didn't make me feel things. I cried multiple times through this book. At the beginning when NASA realized he was still alive, I physically got chills. I got goosebumps all up and down my arm. It was such good writing. And throughout the story, when you think about the lengths that human beings will go to to save another person, it just made me cry. I know it's fiction, but it's still beautiful and it still made me cry. <laughs> I can't believe I almost didn't read this book. It's so human and so humane. And I think that sometimes the world feels really crowded but really shallow. Like even though there's all these people around, nobody really gives a damn about each other and we just don't connect very deeply. The Martian is amazing because it manages to delete that feeling and helps you remember the lengths that humans will go to to take care of one another, which is really amazing when you consider that 98% of this book takes place on a planet inhabited by just one single person. And finally, I would like to leave you with my favorite line of the book, duct tape is magical and should be worshipped.